I'm here at the NRA National Firearms Museum at NRA headquarters with Jim Sapika, director of all the NRA museums. <laughs> Jim, I know we usually talk about guns for Curator's Corner, but I see you have some cards. That's, uh, what's going on there? It's my birthday. Oh, happy, happy birthday. birthday to me. Yeah, <laughs> there yeah. you go. And my wife got me the best birthday present ever. Wow. This is a complete set of Civil War news trading cards. Oh, my. I had one of these when I was a kid. I was, uh, we, I, we, I, paid, I played cowboy when I was a little kid. Right. But then I was a kid during the Civil War centennial, the early 1860s, and that was huge. So we played Civil War every day. And we bought these Civil War trading cards. Wow. And you collected them all. And I don't know why my mom let me have them. They're incredibly gory. But there is history on the back of each one. If she'd looked at them, I would have been banned. I know if I told them, Mom, these are history. Good old boy, come on. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're, they're perfect for 10-year-old boys. These are just, of course. just the perfect but, thing. But I think if it's still on the top, I was looking at them before. That's me in the morning sometimes, the angry the man. The angry man, yeah, yeah. I just got my yeah. beard trimmed. But. You, you and John Brown right there. <laughs> But I, I was so tickled with those, I had, I, I had to do Civil War guns. So, so are these reproductions? No, these are the real deal. Oh, I wow. hope this is my own personal set that, that my is, mom gave to Salvation Army when I moved off to college. That is That's awesome. That's what I'm going to pretend. Yeah, isn't that cool? That's very Best cool. Best birthday gift ever. Awesome. So Civil War guns. Well, what we're going to look at is the coolest handgun of the Civil War. And it's a Confederate handgun. Okay. Uh, the Union went to war with uh, primarily the Colt revolvers, the 1860 Army right. and the 1851 Navy. They'd been perfected for, oh, about uh, uh, 15 years or so by the time of the Civil War. Very effective, a huge advance over the single-shot percussion pistols that had been predominant before then. Uh, and they were like this. This is a 60 Army, six shots mm. of 44 caliber lead ball. Uh, the Navy model was 36 caliber, very similar design, very effective sidearm. But there was a, uh, a doctor in New Orleans uh -huh. who was also an inventor. His name was Lamatt. Uh -huh. And he worked with a gentleman who was going to become a, uh, a prominent Confederate general, Beauregard, and they developed this. Now, this is a Lamatt revolver. And, uh, it's a uh, lot of revolver it's there. It's a lot of revolver. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can kind of compare them. It's and uh, uh, you see the difference size-wise, but there are other really important differences with this gun. And uh, uh, this, uh, very few of these were manufactured in the United States. So they're considered primarily uh, a prototypes. Oh, okay. But when the Civil War broke out, the Confederacy did not have the manufacturing capacity to make these. So Lamatt took these overseas. Uh, and they were made primarily in France initially, and eventually made in Belgium. A few may have been made in England, but uh, uh, most of the production for the Civil War era will be French. Now, the Union had that six-shot revolver. Very good. This is a nine-shot. Wow. Forty-caliber revolver. Wow. Splits the difference. But here's the really cool thing. This, underneath the revolver barrel. Yes is a 20 gauge shotgun barrel. So the-, the That's cool. I know. It's almost know. as cool as those cool? cards. Isn't it cool? Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's same class. Absolutely the same class. Wow. So uh, 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 very popular with Confederate officers. A few thousand of these made it through the blockade to, uh, to uh, arm the Confederates. I was gonna say, but, that would uh, give you a, a lot of advantage in firepower, more rounds, bigger caliber, and then the little surprise in the middle yeah, there. Yeah, the shotgun barrel is just remarkable. You load that with buckshot, and it works like a conventional percussion revolver. You put your powder in, you load your ball on top of it. It does have a, a, a little rammer built into mm -hmm. it. Uh, you know, uh, the Colt revolvers had that too. Uh, and then it's just a, just a single action revolver. You've got, uh, you've got nine rounds like that. Wow. And the way you fire the shotgun barrel is this hammer nose flicks down like that. And so instead of hitting the uh, percussion caps on the revolver cylinder, you've got another percussion cap right there for your shotgun barrel. Surprise, so you, surprise. Yeah, yeah, so you fire that <laughs> like that. Say hello so, to my little friend, the yeah, Lamatt. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Absolutely. So, awesome.